let's talk a little bit about the um, the cavity splits and um, how they work. And what I'd like to do is just roll back this timeline down here at the bottom. And I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning here and just talk about what we've got. So this is a part that I believe you've seen in earlier. Whoops, 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 whoops. take it all the way back. We use the one arrow button here. And um, anyhow, we, uh, we want to talk a little bit about laying out cavity boundaries and then splitting cavities. So, so we've got um, these surface, these cavities, and we um, start bringing everything together. This is, this is our runner and our sprue right here, and this is down in the ejector pin location down here. So the mold will split along this line right here. And then this is our, our ejector pin will sit down here. And so we kind of lay out the runner and then we, we keep moving forward. Um, and as we move forward, our runner is developed and um, this is a trap, they call it a trapezoidal runner. And um, we keep going and then we, we go over to where we're gonna drop the cavities in. And we add our, our little gate right there and everything does have to have draft the way that we've done it in the past. And we keep moving forward, and um, if we look at um, some of these 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 components, we start copying them around, and we we keep adding them to the to the family tool as we t as we refer. So here's the next one right there, and we keep joining it and adding the next one in. So, whoops, and that that one gets dropped over there. And then we, we keep going. And um, what we've done in that mode is we've joined everything together. So this is a combined mode here that, that combined all the runners and everything. And you kind of see these weird lines on top of one another. It means that there's a part that makes up all these parts. So we, we added it. And then we keep going. And um, now, now we're going to get into... Um, um, I think this is a remove body, so we got rid of some things. And um, now we're getting down to laying out the tool. So we want to define the parting line, where the mold's going to split. We want to cap off all, all holes. So, so imagine filling this up with water, and it's going to leak out through these holes. We've got to, we've got to cap them off where the tool um, opens and closes. So right down here, on the underside is a little line right here. We'll put a surface in there. And so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep going. And um, there's the new surface there. I capped off all these holes. So I created a, um, I went into surface and I grab um, this patch and you just click on the edge and it'll create a, a, sur a, a surface there. So what we do is we, we keep charging forward and that, that's a surface that is defining the parting line. So that goes out all the way out, and it, we want to go out past. This is going to be our mold block right here that we're going to split, and so we have to extend these surfaces out. So we'll we'll keep pulling on them, and now you can see that the the surface that creates the the extension out beyond the block, and we're going to split this block in half. We're going to have a a hot side, an A side, and we're going to have a B side, and so. This is where it's going to get really frustrating and you're going to bang your head against the wall. But if you follow my steps here, um, we, we've now um, created this block. Now we have to subtract that whole thing from the inside. So we're going to, we're going to come forward one more and we're going, to, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to subtract. So that, this command right here, is, it's actually called a combine, but, but you can, if you go edit, um, you can... So I grab I grab the block and I said subtract that runner system in there. So now there's an empty void in there, and so now what we want to do is we've got um, all these surfaces that we capped off all the little holes, and they're they're all in there. And this surface around here, and the next move what we're going to do is we're going to create. They they refer to it if you go up here to solid, and you go to create, and you come down to this boundary fill. So, so what you have to do is you have to extend, create a parting line surface that everything can separate on, and then you want to um, create a boundary fill, and it's going to look at the surfaces, 
and it's going to look at the solid. So this, this solid block right here needs to get split. And so um, if we look at it in a section view, let's go back and take a look at a section view here. Um, if I go and, and uh, go inspect and I come down to section, section analysis and I, and I walk through here and I start looking at some of the, the cavities in there, you can see that they're, they're in there, but um, the block hasn't been split. So now we're going to go and we're going to um, we're going to move it to the next one, and it's going to take a little bit to generate. And so that's this is that boundary fill right here. And so if we right click on this, we have to do it twice: once for the for the the B side and once for the A side. So um, if we go edit feature, it's got thirty tools, thirty select section tools that we grab. So we grab we grab the all the surfaces, and then we grab the uh, we grab the parting line, and then all those cap surfaces. And so now it's 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 crunching right now, and it says select the cell. So you have to move your your mouse down to here, and you select cell. So we'll wait until this gets done computing. And and so if we if we go and look at it square on. It's got these little check boxes that you can check which one you want to keep and and split. So so we're going to split this bottom one first, and then we're going to do this one as another boundary fill. So I'm just going to hit OK, and it'll crunch that. And some it takes a little bit of time down here. You'll you'll watch it run. And so now it's it's making this one here, and then we have to do it one more time, and uh, we're going to. Uh, we're gonna let this run, and then we're gonna we're gonna do the operation one more time, and then we have a corner cavity. So, um, uh oh, I got a dog here. Okay, so now you see this turn this turn a different color right here, and and so we've got a body that's um, down there. That's the core. And now we're going to just roll this forward and we're going to do the other side, which is, is the other side. So, so we can look at this and you can still see, we can turn off these sketches. I'm just going to turn that off. And here is, is all of this. And then if we, um, we, oh, whoops. Oh, we need to turn off all these parts here. I'm sorry. These are the parts that are being molded and those are the cores right there. So, so now we've got the core, and and then if we flip it to the other side and turn off the core, you'll see the cavity on this side. Okay, so here's the cavity, and um, next thing we need to do is machine it. But I I just want to go through it one more time. We need to join all of the parts and the runner. We need to cap off all the surfaces where they're going to split in the mold, like these through holes and we create a, a flat surface. Then we grab all those surfaces, we, we extend, we create a boundary surface around here, and we'll grab the edge of all these all the way around, and we create this one big flat surface that walks all the way around this. And then we extend it out past the block, and then we do this boundary fill, and we, we split one side, and then we split the other side. So there's two boundary fills down here at the bottom at the end. So that that's how we, we do all this, and I just, um, th this is probably one of the more challenging things that you'll um, work with in, in Fusion on splitting these cavities. And once you get down, you know, get the routine down, um, it'll work. And that, now we'll merge all this into another block that'll create the mold itself. So we'll join all this to another, the main block, like, like this guy right here. So we'll, we'll just, We'll bring this assembly in and we'll join we'll just line it right up with the surface and we'll we'll go combine and we'll join this to this part right here so that's how you how you do that but anyhow that's that's the basics on on mold design and we'll talk to you later